Hello friends, my name's Sam, welcome to Mori Paper. Um, today I'm going to be talking about and trying out these lovely Windsor & Newton inks that I got for my birthday. In this video I'll be using Fabriano watercolour paper. Uh, here are all the details. Lovely, lovely. Windsor & Newton obviously didn't send me these, I'm not being sponsored or anything. Um, I got them for a friend and I wanted to try them out. Since they're drawing inks, I wanted to find out what they were like as paints. I started off with this drawing of this sunglassed individual. These inks are meant for drawing. I can, I can see why they were used that way. I didn't use them for the line art in this drawing because <laughs> I'm impatient and I, uh, I didn't want to wait for it to dry. They're supposed to be watercolor, or excuse me, waterproof, and all those good things that line art is supposed to be, but I tested these out on a little piece of paper on a, on a swatch sheet beforehand, and they didn't quite dry the way I wanted them to. They still smeared quite a little bit. So I didn't trust them as line art. So for this, I think I used a Statler pen or maybe a Copic fine liner or something. Something waterproof, something that's reliable, something that I've known from use. You know, that is something that I could rely on. But no, these these inks, they laid down well. They, they created a lovely flat color. They weren't as saturated as I was expecting them to be, which I think is normal enough for a drawing ink because while you want sometimes your lettering or your line art to be vibrant, you don't want it to overwhelm the color of the actual piece. So yeah, for the, the line art in this piece, what I did was I drew some thumbnails in my sketchbook. You can still kind of see the, the corner of my sketchbook in the footage. Drew out some thumbnails. Uh, I took the ones I liked best into Procreate and finished them up. And then I used the backlight of my iPad to trace the actual line art from my iPad onto the watercolor paper so that I didn't have to mess around with erasing too much on the watercolour paper and, and damage the surface and stuff. Another thing I noticed about these inks was that the more you layered them, whenever they dried, they would have this, this sort of sheen to it, almost like it was glossy or semi-glossy. I kind of liked the effect, but I know that's probably not for everybody. You can really see that glossy effect where I've layered the red on top of each other multiple times in the dried finished piece. The black ink was... well it was black, not much to say about it there. It had a lovely depth to... I don't know man, it was black, you know? It did the job. It did black ink things. It was good. I liked it. One of the things I really appreciated about this ink was how quickly it dried. I am a very impatient person, as we all know, and fast drying ink or paint is just yes for me. That is 10 out of 10 for me. Well, it dried to the touch, at least. I, again, when I talk about not using it for the line art, it did kind of smudge even after leaving it for about an hour, which, not good, but dry to the touch, good enough for me, it means I can paint over it. I think the blue was my favorite, it turned out the best, it turned out the most vibrant. It also layered the best. As in once it had dried, you could put another layer on top of it and it would create a lovely depth. The only ink in this set that I had real trouble with was the gold ink. I remember Bailey J had uh, actually used this very same ink in, a, in a, a piece she did recently and had the same trouble that I had with it, which was the pigment in the ink and the binding agent started to separate incredibly easily. So no matter how hard you shook the bottle, the binder and the pigment wouldn't quite combine in a way that would give you a lovely chunky gold ink the same way the silver in this set would do. 
The silver in the set is mwah. oh, chef's kiss. Delicious. Oh, don't eat it. Uh, <laughs> but in terms of the colour that it laid down, it was, oh, it was crunchy. Gold didn't have that same crunch, which was very disappointing because, like, real metallic gold highlights in ink like this, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The metallic effect it leaves, so tasty. But unfortunately, this ink was just kind of watery and. I don't know how to explain it. I was disappointed with it. It was the only ink in the set that I was disappointed with. Also, I have the peelies. The peelies are back again. I, I know, that's my favorite part of pretty much anything that I paint, is just peeling off the tape at the sides. Overall, I like these inks. I would probably stick with them for lettering or drawing, line art and such like that. In terms of laying down flat colour, they're okay. They have a little bit of issues with layering and stuff like that. I'll probably be using these again with a dip pen to maybe improve my line art. The only other materials, aside from the Windsor & Newton ink in this that I used, were a Uniball Signo white gel pen. I used an antique nib that I got in Italy for any dip pen required the requirements. Uh, I'm good at words, guys. But yeah, this is our finished piece. I'm quite happy with how this turned out, despite the challenge. <laughs> the gold ink is nice in that it's reflective, but it's not as deliberate or not as chunky as the silver ink. And yeah, thank you for joining me. I hope you find this video somewhat informative. If you guys have these inks, if you have any other tips about how to use them, or any tips on how to use them to their fullest potential, do let me know, because I'd be interested in finding out about that. The line art of the painting that I did in this video will actually be available on my Patreon. If you guys want to pop over and become a patron, you'll be able to download that for free, along with every other line art that I upload, or colouring page, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, thank you guys for joining me, and I hope to see you all again soon. I hope you're staying safe. Uh, you know, I'm real good at ending videos, so... Bye!